Welcome to Worldview, I'm Corey Capel. Over the last two weeks, Russian President Vladimir Putin has embarked upon a global campaign to build support for Russian military involvement in Syria. On September 28th, in a speech to the UN General Assembly, Putin called for a UN resolution to endorse coalition military action against terrorist targets in Syria. Shortly thereafter, Russia's Federation Council, which is a body similar to Congress in the United States, approved Putin's plan, stating that the action would comply with both Russian and international law. And so, on Wednesday, Russia's military forces began attacking terrorist targets in Syria. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, Russia will limit its combat operations to airstrikes against Islamic State targets. There will be no boots-on-the-ground action. Reports from rebel-held areas in Aleppo, Idlib, and Homs, however, tell a different story. Numerous reports, accompanied by video evidence, have surfaced in social media, claiming that Russia has been attacking rebel forces as well as civilians. These claims, however, have been squarely rejected by President Putin. As to different information in the media saying that there are victims among the civilians, we're ready for these informational attacks. I'm drawing your attention to the fact that the first information about victims among the civilian population appeared before our planes were in the air. Plotting Russia's airstrikes on a map, however, as the New York Times recently did, makes it easier to see why some doubt the credibility of the Defense Ministry. Here we can see Russia's airstrikes from October 2nd. In red, ISIL-held territory, we can see just two attacks. In yellow, which is rebel-held territory, we can see over 20 attacks on the same day. With many doubting the authenticity of Russia's claims that they only intend to attack ISIL targets, the next few weeks should reveal whether or not Russia is using this opportunity to attack the enemies of long-held ally Bashir al-Assad. For Worldview, I'm Corey Capel.